Hey everybody, it's Christy back with another video and today we are going to look at the Iridori Holbein Artist Gouache for fall. It's just around the corner here that it will be actually fall in a few days and so I thought this was a good time to finally get this set out from the haul a few weeks ago and play with it. And I have another surprise. I forgot that I bought these and I have been waiting for a gouache opportunity to get them out. So these are the Sarah Burns Studio Times Craftimo gouache brush set. If you don't follow Sarah Burns, what are you doing? She's amazing. You should follow her and her amazing gouache everything. She's so talented. And uh, look at this landscape. I just, I am breathtaking by it. So she's got a nice little box here and we're gonna go ahead and share all of this out, but her brushes are just luscious. I saw Miranda Watson over at Alkali Creek Art open them, and I thought, you know what, I gotta get me a set of those, and I did. So let's go through the brushes, then we'll talk about paint pigments, and we will go from there. Okay, so we start with a three quarter inch flat. Really beautiful. These are nice. Well, they're they're still sized, so let's unsize them. But this is a nice, stiff, stiff brush. I like how stiff it is. For gouache, that's exactly what you would want. And I'm just gonna get the sizing off of them so that we can use them nicely. I may have to take them and wash them in between here. We have a one and a half inch. Does it tell me on here exactly what they are? these are like I don't know what these are considered because it is a flat but it's a longer flat I think there's a specific name for that but I don't know what it is <laughs> but it's really pretty and it makes a lot of sense for gouache painting and I don't have brushes that look like this well I have a I have a round I have a 12 round but I don't have a 12 round that's nice with that kind of point that's dedicated to gouache so very excited for that, we have this beautiful 3 8 inch long flat brush. I swear Emma Lefebvre was just using brushes that look like this, and I can't remember what she called them. <laughs> so there's that. And then another long, I'm really excited about this brush. So this is a what, a one quarter inch long flat. I know that's not what it's called. Look how pretty these are. Oh, these are so pretty. Then we have a half inch or a, a round six, a short round six. A beautiful point on it. That's going to be just great for gouache details and getting some really cool textures in for landscapes and florals. And I got one more here. So this is a set of seven brushes and this is a rigger, a uh, number one rigger. And we'll see how this rigger holds up. It feels pretty stiff for a rigger that's this long. So that's pretty cool. We'll see how it, it handles my Holbein gouaches. But anyway, I'm very excited about these brushes. There is craftimo.com slash care, so I will make sure to take a look at that. It does not say on here, but oh, they're so pretty, and I'm very excited to use them with this gouache. So let's open the gouache and talk about the colors. So, fun fact, some of these were actually in the recent sketch box. We have Safflower Red, G802, Orange, 811, Gardenia Yellow, 824. This one was in the sketch box. Cork Yellow, G825. I'm excited. That's a really pretty muted looking yellow. G826 is amber. Bark brown is 835. 
smoked bamboo is eight thirty six. It's really pretty. I like that color. Leek green is eight forty four. Pine tree green is eight forty eight. Elm green is eight forty nine. This was one of the colors in the sketch box. Eight sixty six is indigo. And we have a metallic today, antique rich gold. So, oh, what a color palette. I'm so excited for this. I love fall colors and I love painting things in the fall. So I am really, really excited to play with these. I think I'm going to look up a picture on Unsplash and just go ahead and do a little painting. And then I'll talk about this product at the end. I believe I purchased mine on Blick. But Amazon and Blick have similar prices for these sets of gouaches. Personally, I think that these sets of, how many do you get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. These sets of 12 for the seasons are without a doubt the best prices that I have found on Holbein gouache. I love the idea of it being curated to a season, which for me as a floral and landscape painter just really really speaks to me. So I'm in love with that idea. And I also think that, like I said, affordability and you, you can't get better quality than a Holbein uh, gouache. I just think it's the best. And I mean, if I'm going to pay $23 for Hemi gouache, that's going to dry fast and get gummy and end up being um, dried out. And then I have to do all kinds of work just to get it to work when I can use so much less of this gouache and it goes so much further and it's in tubes so I can kind of put it back. I just think that uh, tubed gouache for me is a better bang for my buck. That's just a personal opinion. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Like I said, I'm gonna do just some kind of fun piece to play. I'll swatch first and play with the brushes a bit. And then we'll do an art piece and who knows, maybe I'll get around to doing my bullet journal for this video. If not, I'll do that in the future. Maybe you want to see me do that as a live. Let me know in the comments. Let's get to painting.
All right, so I just wanted to show off my finished piece and go through with you guys everything that we have here. So this color palette is just amazing. Let's start there. I just think what a beautiful color palette we had to work with. Here are my swatches I did there. And I just love the warm tones, the, the, the oranges and the reds and the yellows. And then we've got those beautiful greens and that blue. You guys, that blue. Oh, I love that blue. It's an it's it's labeled indigo, but it reminds me so much of an old school Prussian blue. And I just I can't get enough. And then you can see here I was playing with some of the brushes. And if you watched the actual swatching out, you'll see that I was playing with the brushes just a little bit on screen. Uh, let's talk about the brushes a little bit. So these are amazing gouache brushes. They have such a nice snap to them. They hold a lot of water and they hold a lot of paint. I had so much fun playing with these. Obviously, some of my florals weren't exactly how. I tried not to use the round brush for everything. I tried to vary it a little bit. And I think that because I did that, I got some of this a little bit less eloquent than maybe I could have because I know how to use my round brushes a little bit better. I did use them quite a bit. But in general, I just felt like this brush set was so great. Should have used the rigger to do something in here because I did have fun playing with it on the swatches. The only thing that I would have added here on this picture, on this floral piece, I was working on like my composition. I think this composition looks really cool. I could have taken this color and maybe added some wheat, like some wheat grass in since it's a fall floral piece. But overall, I really like it. I like that I used the gold for just some little details in there, just kind of popping up all over, but not in one specific spot. And in general, guys, this is just one of my favorite things to have in my collection. It's one of the few sets of paints that I don't actually take out of its packaging and keep together because I think there's something to be said about these seasonal sets being ready to go for seasonal inspiration. So I am into it and I really like it. I hope you enjoy that I am kind of giving a deep dive on this and showing you these paints off as a, a complete piece. I know we have done winter and fall. I do have the spring set. I do not have the summer set. So next year, 2024, we'll do the spring and, and summer set so that we can have all four sets of these paints. But I just think they're such a great value for gouache. And they're so much fun. And the color palettes are just incredible. Um, these brushes are great. I love them. I love the matte handle. And I just think they are going to really serve me well for the purpose of playing with gouache, which I have been doing a lot more of lately. I am a big fan of Craftimo and their collaborations. I have a lot of brushes from their collaborations. And I have not been disappointed by that. So I knew these were probably going to be really good brushes for me. So that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, do you guys have this paint set or do you, do you play with the Iridori paint line and do you like it? Do you have these brushes and do you like them? Let me know all of that in the comments below. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope that this inspires you to paint a fall floral today. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.